great. Mm. Green is good. Oh, you too. Green is the plate when we eating good. Mm. Green is grass. Green is cash. Green is life. Green is growth. Most of all, green is go. So with that being said, take out. Let's chop it up yeah. and let's get this green up, man. Let's go, man. Man, it's an honor and a privilege to have you here with me today, sitting down. We're in the green room, the one and only, Dead End Red. Hey, man, in the Hell, Dead End Red. Hell, Dead End Red. <laughs> in the flesh, man. King Juice. We did. Yeah. Happy to be here. Uh, it's a pleasure also to work with a stellar guy, you know what I'm saying? For sure. You know, you know iron sharp and iron, so that's what we're finna do in the green room. Yeah, we gonna get it sharp, man. Yeah, we gonna get it sharp. Juice. All right, so look, this is how I do it, man. Anybody watch the interviews, they know. I start from the beginning, man. All right. Let's go ahead. What, <coughs> what hospital was he born at? Man, to be honest with you, I do not remember. All right, you're not the only person to say that. You're I not the only know. person to say that. Straight up, I do not know. Uh, I don't know. That's all good. Now, the reason I asked that question. I want to say downtown. It was probably the big time of one of them. The big of St. Joe? Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Only reason I ask that is because you know I usually get different reactions, and I always like to start my interviews off good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a good. I ain't never been asked that. <laughs> you know, it's not too many times I'm saying, although you know what I'm saying about some shit. For sure, for sure. All right, so you say probably downtown. So of course that means you're from that area downtown, inner city, Houston, Texas. South Park, of things, oh, man. man. Jurassic Park, D E A, to be exact. You for know sure, what I'm saying? For sure. That's my section, man. <laughs> All right. South Park, the side. All right, so tell me, because I know you probably done talked about it in a million interviews, but tell me something for the people right now, something about South Park that stands out, you know what I'm saying? Man, something about South Park that stands out is differently, man. We just, we just play, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we play it like everything about us is really just play it. The way we walk is play it. The way we, you know, the, we communicate play it. You know what I'm saying? The way we have beef with a nigga is play it. For sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's play it. Well, shit, it used to be. You know what I'm saying? It used to be, you know. You know, man, but you can always tell the South Side nigga about one or two things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, how that nigga. Carry himself, how he dressed, you know what I'm saying, and how his hair cut, you know okay. what I'm saying. Okay, you know, okay. type of fade, ball fade, you know what I'm saying, and that was just something that stuck out with South Side. For sure, for sure. Yeah. All right, now I gotta go back, you know what I'm saying. I gotta step back. I heard you say it used to be. You know oh yeah, 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 yeah. Used All to right. be. So used to be. How would you say? You said used to be like when you grew up. Yeah. All right. So how would you? Say I mean, it, it, you know, it's still it's still a lot of us holding down the fort, but you know. And it's still, it's just different. Okay. It's way different. And I can't say it's player no more because, you know, back then it was just certain understandings that was overstood. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? It was certain laws that didn't get break. It was certain camaraderies that was, it was just order uh -huh. more so. It was order. And right now, and what it's been, it ain't no order. Okay, so that's probably the biggest the biggest difference between That's them. the biggest difference in yeah. order. For sure. Niggas ain't in order individually. Exactly. So collectively, it ain't nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with saying it like that, the streets is probably messed up, in your opinion. Oh, they fucked up. Yeah, for sure. They fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. All right. Now, let me think here how I want to. What would you say is the point when you realize you started to notice that it, it was making that change? When? Man, um. Shit. 19. 19, around 19. And what was it that, that that showed you? What was the event, if you remember? Man, a, as far as I can remember, people only, you, you know, people only, I, it seemed like I was always the wrecking ball or the utensil. Huh. People would fuck with me because they knew I was dumb enough uh -huh. or I was ignorant enough or I was retarded enough, whatever you want to classify it, to be the light in the situation or be the fool in the situation or be the be the, the strong arm in the situation be the nigga who take the file in the situation because you know i just really didn't give a fuck right, okay you know what i mean but it was just to a point to where when i seen people kind of switch 
You know what I'm saying? Just start switching over, you know. Niggas start getting into different things. Niggas start hanging with new people. And then they, they pers whole personality change. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's when I kind of noticed it. And then kind of when that transition happened, when we wasn't really banging hoods no more, it was more clicks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I would say around that right. because a lot of niggas that we fuck with from day one, mm -hmm. you might be on another click and she, it was just like set tripping on the cool. Yeah, it definitely. was the same thing. And it was yeah. just another thing that divided the hood. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. back then it wasn't like that. I, I, I agree with you too because I can remember a time when the click started becoming real popular. And I, I think that's something when you like when discussing Houston, hip hop culture, street shit, music, niggas, mm -hmm. people, the people in general. Like, especially Houston wise, I think a lot of people kind of skip over the click culture in Houston. How big the it big is. The click culture is yeah. big. Yeah, Houston yeah. always been clicked up. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's so big, you could be in the hood and have three, four clicks in the hood. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, now, them three, four clicks, you know, them three, four clicks, then got down, they didn't divide it. Yeah. Now they in portions. Mm -hmm. And it's 12 clicks. Mm hmm. And yeah. so, you know, along the line, when communication get lost and niggas don't know how to carry themselves with against the, the poor, or, you know, representation, you know what I'm saying, against the demeanor, mm -hmm. a way that you carry yourself and you handle yourself, mm -hmm. you dig what I'm saying, when you're dealing with somebody who go as far as you go, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, it's supposed to be a common line of understanding, yeah, yeah. and that understanding is definitely ain't been understood. And why you think, why you think it is people get to that point of misunderstanding? As also, that... Two questions in one, but the same question really. But why you think people get to that point where understanding ain't the same with people you fuck with? And then also, what is it that makes the click culture so so such a big thing? Like what is it about Houston? It's just that goddamn big. Mm -hmm. You got that much room to do that much shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. When you got the numbers, my nigga shit, you able to do this and do that. You able to, you yeah. know, structureize a whole lot of shit, restructure a whole lot of shit, and, and delegate sections and categories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just you know what I'm saying? Good. Just like Cali, how did they get so many goddamn sets? Because it's that goddamn big. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That that motherfucking simple. Yeah, so yeah, you know, yeah. when, you know, and then when it goes down to what 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 happened, um, uh, well, when you get to a point to where man. People get to a certain point, and because they get to a certain rank, they get to a certain position, yeah. they believe that the rules don't apply. Mm, okay. And then what happens is they start grandfathering their little niggas and their cousins and their little brothers and their mm. nephews because it's an emotional attachment, but now you fucking up the law. Because if the nigga out of line, either you going to put him in line or he going to get lined out. Right, right, right. That's just how it go. Exactly. So a lot of times, you had a lot of niggas saving niggas who was dead wrong and, and then didn't learn their lesson because at the end of the day, these niggas will save you but won't teach you no lesson. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's just like the nigga that you're home but that you always go bail out of jail. Mm -hmm. If a nigga know he got cushion, what he gonna do? He gonna keep jumping off the porch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I can that, 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 a lot of, that, that has killed a lot of shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But then, you know, and at the same time, some niggas feel like they not obligated once they get to a certain point. Yeah. Niggas be feeling like once they get to an OG status or a certain status, some M's, they feel like, nigga, they not obligated to what what made you, nigga. Yeah. If you was banging in and you came up banging yeah. and now you money, you, you nigga, you, that's cool. You got to cut yourself off of the corporate world, but you still got some obligations, player. Yeah. You ain't got the bang, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you still got some obligations because at the end of the day, this is what made you, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a part of you. You know what I'm saying? That's like a nigga saying, I ain't never know my daddy, but nigga, you still a product of his sperm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Your DNA proves that. Mm -hmm. So let's just get realistic. You know what I'm saying? And then that's what happens. When, you know, that's what happens. I, I sit down and I break shit down because I've been wondering too. Mm -hmm. I was, man, what the fuck is going on? I'm one of them type. Mm -hmm. When I see it fucked up, I'm able to, I'm able to receive it fucked up. Yeah. And then I'm able to see where it's going to go. Yeah. But then I'm able to smell it a long time ago. Yeah, definitely. I get that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, I'm the type. Oh, that's what's going on. Well, nigga, if you keep doing this, this is what's going to happen. This is how I talk to niggas. Mm -hmm. And most niggas, that's why I don't like talking to them. Because nine times out of ten, you're probably doing something wrong. Yeah. And a lot of people don't want to hear that yeah. because it's uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, it causes you to do something different. I got you, I got you, I got yeah. you. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. The click culture, definitely, man. I probably, this is my first time talking about the click culture and all that type of thing. 
and I like your perspective. But in the music, it was big. Yeah, you think in the music, yeah, the music it broke barriers. See, yeah. in the music, yeah. clicks tied yeah. hoods together. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? For instance, SUC. Southside was always been the island, and then you got hoods yeah. that's peninsulas. Right, you did right, right. so until SUC came, niggas wasn't fucking around with DEA. Uh -huh. They didn't go there. Yeah. Niggas didn't go to the trade. There was really unless you was some money shit. But what it did, Hershey Wood, it was a whole lot of shit going on where niggas was really about their section. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? They was really about their section. So. You really didn't have too much back and forth unless it was business and you had a pass. Mm -hmm. What that did, it opened up a motherfucking pipeline from hood to hood where niggas got, got to doing business together, niggas got to doing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Fucking around and you built the whole ass relationships, but then that led to clicks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when it boiled down. Okay. When it boiled down. But it was a good thing. It was a definitely a good thing for the city. Because okay. back then, every hood was just, did nobody fuck with nobody. Okay. It was either you this and you that, and it was like that. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, ultimately, you feel like the click thing is good for the, the rap game? Fuck it, right. like Just Houston or the rap game in general? I can't speak for it nowhere else yeah, because, yeah. you know, the waters flow differently out here in Texas. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's, I'm glad you said that. Do you ever feel like, to the outside public, the rap game, the way it's perceived, Houston rap game, mm -hmm. do you ever feel like a lot of detail of, of Houston gets overlooked? Oh, yeah. Because I do. It, it, it gets overlooked. It, it don't get overlooked. It get unregistered. Okay. Because we never get paid for it. Why we influenced a lot of shit. But why do you think it's like that for Houston, though? Because <coughs> this is what happened. And this is just theoretically, but this is factually. When you have a history of people in the game who got bad blood, personally, because of business, okay. that kind of, what that does, that leaves open gaps. You know what I'm saying? So, say for instance, perfect example. All right, everybody know, everybody gives rap a lot of bad stigma. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But reality is, a lot of times, people don't know the behind the scenes and the bad business that niggas did yeah. with rap a lot. You said rap a lot doing bad business or people No, doing no, no. Uh, what I'm saying is, bad. a lot of times people don't know the mm. technicalities of why shit went bad. Right. A lot of times was niggas was taking their advances and using like free bands and then waiting for some budget for the album and they're like, nigga, no, mm. that's all you got. Matter of fact, you owe us now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. There was a lot of situations, but niggas never get that. Okay. So systematically, you got a record label who doing this goddamn thing, but people so scared of them and the stigma so bad. She when they at the table with the representations from you got people from New York, people from Atlanta. You got the yeah. biggest representation in Texas, just rap a lot, mm -hmm. and she ain't no artist with them. Yeah, that's what I got because you. they scared of them. Or you. she should they be scared? <laughs> I'm not scared. At the end of the day, it's man. Either you predator or you pray. Right, right, right. If you act like a hoe, you get treated like a hoe. You act thirsty, you get fed. Right. But guess what? She, he on your head. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I understand that. That's G shit. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's G shit. See, niggas don't know them laws. Uh -huh. I know them laws. Yeah. So I know how to roll with these laws. I think that's a big problem. In the it's a big problem because at the end of the day, you know, if they got a, if that's the biggest label, if the artists stand behind the label, Guess what? Now they got a bargaining chip. Instead of getting a million dollar deal for one artist, they get a hundred million dollar deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got you. For four, for six, seven, eight artists. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it just it just man, we allow too much personal shit keep us separated from the bigger picture. Ooh, interesting, interesting. So okay, check me out. Let me I'm listening to you, see if I got you correctly. Theoretically, but factually, in example form, maybe in the past a lot of outside rap game business people may have possibly did bad business with rap a lot. And be, because, check me out, hold on, check, because of that, because of that, being that rap a lot is kind of the forefront. They're the biggest label yeah, ever yeah. from Texas. So it kind of gives a bad stigma, not only on rap a lot, but you know what I'm saying, on Houston as a whole, because it don't give a bad stigma on rap a lot or Houston. Gotcha. It is the problem in which why we ain't got the major labels mm -hmm. or the major budget to be able to do bigger shit. Mm -hmm. 
Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? It don't fall on nobody, because guess what? All these motherfuckers out here coming through here and buying houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it ain't the stigma that's bad. It's the understanding between Houston niggas and Texas niggas alone. That at the end of the day, you can't count another nigga bad deal on your situation because right. you don't know what the fuck a nigga right, did right, wrong. Right. That's like nigga if I front you some motherfucking shit mm -hmm. and you just go out that hole, you get high party, party, sell a little bit, get high party, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden shit. Mm -hmm. Man, you know I'm rapping right, bro, so <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get popular about nigga, so yeah, you know what I'm saying? I had a little party to do my buzz, woo woo. So I'm gonna need some extra in order to get this back, but I got you on the next end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it's a certain way you gotta go about it. Hey man, yeah. the rap game ain't the dope game, but the principles are the same. That's the same. Yeah man, I got you, I got you man. Yeah, that, I mean that's just me, cause I like I said, I mean that's the only thing that makes sense. When I look at shit, mm -hmm. I don't look at all the I look at adding and subtracting, primary. What, what did the nigga do with the money? Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Or you know what did what did the paperwork say? You can look that shit up. It's public records. Mm -hmm. If you really want to know if somebody got fucked up, look it up. Mm -hmm. I got you. So I don't, I don't get into that. You know, I don't believe nothing bad about it.